a very so hot Fuck you, fountain. It's boring. It's fucking boring. Saya nak minta maaf dah demi umat Singapura kalau tak sedap in advance. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay. Eh, wah, satu, dua, tiga. Kuah aja. My five minutes hasn't started, please. I can't help it. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my god, is that Prince Martin or Brunei? <laughs> Same, right? <laughs> uh, okay, just a show of hands. It's okay, y'all can say it. Does anybody here don't know who I am? Anyone raise hands? Anyone? Yep. <laughs> you don't know who I am? <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. For those who don't know, my name is Hirzi. I'm Singapore's national treasure. <laughs> Except Singaporeans don't know about it. <laughs> it seems like a they problem, not a me problem. Right? Yeah. How are you guys? Malaysia! Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for coming out on a work night in the middle of traffic, spending seven bucks and selling out the show in less than an hour. I can't believe it. I can't believe I can't believe how cheap the tickets were. Seven bucks. Seven bucks and I was like, oh my god, am I doing a school showcase or what? And then I turned out, oh my god, I forgot to change the currency that from Sing dollars to Malaysian ringgit. No Singaporean ever. <laughs> but honestly, Singaporean comics, we need to stop it with the currency jokes, okay? This is a real currency we're talking about. After a while, a weakening Malaysian ringgit next to the Sing dollar is not a joke anymore. After a while, it's just facts. <laughs> Thank you so much for selling out the show, you guys. It was actually for 80 seats, but we managed to fill up 100. I'm literally 12 seats away from forming a majority in total. Even, even a Singaporean can do it quicker than two choice. The power of Hirze. The pandemic has been so long, it's been so long since I see you guys. Uh, I haven't been keeping up with Malaysian affairs because as a Singaporean, uh, we don't care. <laughs> it's true, Singaporeans just generally don't care. We don't even care about each other. We literally, our government has a campaign every year called Singapore Kindness Movement to teach Singaporeans how to kind. <laughs> we need to be like you guys. Over here, you teach your government how to kind. How to kindly not steal from you guys again. <laughs> so sorry about it. Uh, speaking of Singaporeans, any Singaporeans in the house? <laughs> not so loud. They don't like us here. <laughs> Miss Muna Bagram is in the house! Look at her flaunting her Singaporean wealth. In Malaysia, the girls carry Birkin bags to keep her wallet in the arms. In Singapore, they carry an Angmo man in the arms to keep his wallet. <laughs> the audacity, yeah? It's true, in Singapore, Angmo man is not just for love, it's for fashion and stability. <laughs> don't flaunt your wealth here, they don't like it. Later, they scratch your car. I'm just, I'm just kidding. As a Singaporean, I can't afford a car. <laughs> what? I'm Malay Singaporean. I don't have money. Not every Malay person in this world has boomy rights, okay? <laughs> but yeah, the pandemic was very shit, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I lost loved ones in the pandemic. Uh, so if we all can just have a moment of prayer for... Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate your praying on my behalf because uh, I don't pray. <laughs> 
sure I don't. And then the loved ones that I lost through this pandemic is uh, my income. <laughs> my savings got wiped clean, all $54. <laughs> Who knew the pandemic was going to be so long? <laughs> hey, you all remember that time we all wear a mask because of the hiss? And then we were like, oh, Indonesia. <laughs> and now we wear a mask and we're like, oh, Wuhan. <laughs> I mean, oh, Tuhan, sesungguhnya. Do y'all think I was going to blame Wuhan for the pandemic? Don't be rude, guys. That's xenophobic, okay? Anyone could have eaten a bat soup and started a global pandemic. Okay, normalize eating bats. Look at that, Abang. It's like, apa kau normalize? Normalize, benda ni bukannya kaca. Everything is perspective, guys, okay? Think of bats like gothic chickens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm so happy to see the development in Malaysia recently. So many new things coming up. I'm driving around KL the other day. I was like, oh my god, this part looks like Orchard. Oh my god, that part looks like MBS. I'm like, hold on. Did Malaysians copy Singaporean homework and did not change anything? Change project. Can we have another moment of silence for the high speed rail KL Singapore project? <laughs> and we're done. Uh, that's how short the project was. <laughs> Do you know how mad I am? It, took, it would have taken 45 minutes to an hour from KL to Singapore. That's how quick corruption could have run to our borders <laughs> when the police was chasing Cut Rosie. <laughs> See, take your time, Samo. Could have been safe, Cut Rosie. <laughs> Which cut rosé you're thinking of? I'm talking about the Pochukang rosé. <laughs> you all seem to know things I don't. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. Recently, you guys had your election? Yes. I love election for Malaysians because it's that one time after a few years, you guys get your roads fixed. <laughs> it's like they forgot the manifesto from last game. Oh my, kita belum habis fix the road. Eh? So it's every Singaporean, I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Sunday, I woke up after your polling day. I was like, ah, oh, I wonder what is the new era of corruption in Malaysia look like? So I went on all the websites, I searched, and then all the articles said the same thing. How parliament? How parliament? I'm not into politics, but I'm like, this has... This is what it's gotten down in Malaysia. You're all comparing dick sizes. In different <laughs> I went to search who are in the candidates love for this hang paling. It's between Anwar Ibrahim and Mohidin. I'm like, oh, okay, Anwar, I can imagine. <laughs> because like, that's why he's allegedly popular with the gays. Allegedly. I never confirmed. So Anwar, I can imagine. But then I, I was thinking, thinking again, like, huh, who's next? I was like, Mohidin? <laughs> Abe? Oh, hum. So I guess the question to him is, Mohidin, what is Mohidin? <laughs> you guys, before I close and wrap up my time, I just want to thank Just Jokes for having me come down and connect with my fans. I really appreciate that. I want to thank Joanne Tom for always giving me opportunities and, and doing this. I love you so much, Mama. She's my mama of comedy. And I want to thank my followers who came out to support. I will never take this for granted. For uh, uh, but most importantly, all the artists that you guys are going to see later, give them your full support. And let me tell you why. Sometimes when times are hard and, and politics get heavy, uh, artists are your social and political mouthpieces. Uh, they need to be encouraged. They need to be empowered. So when you support them, they will include that in their work to run by you. So sometimes when you guys are upset and depressed that things are not running, uh, start change from within the community and support them. Give them uh, your full support. Guys. I mean, some of them, actually all of them, are not as good looking as me. Uh, but give them a chance. Uh, God is fair, they have a nice personality or whatever. Uh, before I close this off, uh, I, I, in the wise words of Rose Ma, uh, Can I buy you something? In this tough time,
times, right? I just want to remind you all that uh, tough times don't last unless you're weak. <laughs> but even then, the strongest of us will eventually die. And maybe sometimes tough times do last for, for some, for many, for maybe you. Yeah. So the lesson here is outlast the tough times, stay healthy, don't eat Malaysian nasi lemak. Oh.